What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux and Android videos and I put them on the internet. So it has been quite a while since uh, I've uploaded a video and my apologies. Um, I got over the flu. A week later I ended up uh, with bronchitis and a bad sinus infection. So um, if I still sound a little uh, extra geeky here, a little extra nasally, my apologies. Um, I'm still kind of on the tail end of, of getting over that. So uh, anyway, exciting stuff. Uh, Redemption ROM version 1.1 was released, and we've got a whole new b uh, base as far as the code is concerned. And, uh, you know, let's get right into it. Let's head over to Roots Wiki and uh, see what's changed in Redemption ROM 1.1. All right, so here we are. We're at the uh, Roots Wiki's website, the Redemption ROM thread. And as you can see here from item number one, I compiled this using the latest AOSP 4.0.4 source. Now there hasn't been an official change log yet for 4.0.4. All we know is there were um, several hundred bug fixes introduced into uh, the 404 source code, um, you know, fixing various uh, different things. Um, and so until we get an official change log, you know, we're not going to know exactly what into it, but you know, bug fixes are good, especially if you're on Redemption ROM, you know, with all of the stuff that goes on underneath the hood, when you can introduce a lot of new code that corrects a lot of, um, a lot of bugs, that's just going to make Redemption ROM's, um, AOSP purist experience that much better. Um, so onto the second item, I ported all the current Redemption ROM features over to the new base. Um, so all of the features that were present on Redemption ROM 4.0.3, I've implemented them here on 4.0.4. Okay, so you have all those features. I also added one commit. I'm calling it Smooth Scroll. It's a CM9 commit. As I was kind of just browsing through the CM9 GitHub, I stumbled across this, and um, I thought it was a really cool uh, addition to the code. Basically. When you're scrolling through long lists of things, specifically long lists, like for instance, my music, I've got to scroll quite a bit to get through all the different artists or songs. Um, this smooths out that scrolling and it basically addresses, the way that it does that is it addresses the way that Ice Cream Sandwich caches the information, okay? So this is supposed to help with the smooth, to smoothen out that scrolling. So I've added that commit in there. Um, one of the big complaints in 4.0.3 was the um, auto-rotate speeds. Now, if you've been a Redemption ROM user for some time, I've corrected this issue already. Um, the Android team did put fixes in for the auto-rotate speeds and, and, and the animations. It wasn't quite quick enough for me, so I went in and actually smoothed them out and made them a little bit faster. Um, there was a Google Plus force close issue on the... Uh, previous Redemption ROM uh, release 108. I've fixed that here in version 1.1. 1 .1. um, here's an, a feature I'm pretty excited about. Um, it's a feature that I haven't seen any other ROM um, have, and that's I fully implemented the auto restore applications for existing ROM users, and this happens during installation. So basically, um, if you've backed up your apps at least one time and you're a Redemption ROM user, meaning if you go onto your SD card and you have a Redemption backup directory and there's applications in there, when a new version of Redemption ROM comes out, I've created a program that's going to look for that directory during installation and then it's going to install automatically those applications for you. Okay, so this is an auto restore option that I'm really proud of. It's again the first implementation I've ever seen in any ROM, um, custom impl implementation anyway. Now the only downside to this method, okay, is if your application has a specific library file. For instance, the Android terminal application that's included in this ROM already has a library file that needs to be installed. So using this method, the way that I'm doing this, it's not going to be able to install this library file because when you know when you download something from the market it automatically runs through a manual installation process okay and that manual installation process will install any of the required files necessary um, there is a way that I think I can get this accomplished but it's just going to involve a lot more scripting and um, you know 99 percent of your applications don't have library files so if you find yourself um, going you know after a fresh install going to open up an application and see that it force closes that application probably needs a library file to function or function properly 
So no big deal. All you've got to do is use ES File Explorer that's included in this ROM, navigate to the redemption backup directory on your SD card, and then manually install. You can write right over uh, the install, installed version that's included in the ROM. Manually install that application and it will install that library file and you'll be good to go. Again, this is going to be in a very rare um, case by case um, inst occurrence. Certain applications have library files that are, are required to have that application run. But if you ever encounter that, um, you can just manually install the app and you're going to be good to go. No big deal. Um, I've also added some additional flash memory optimizations to the Redemption ROM performance script. Um, I've added some additional RAM optimizations as well. And of course, I've updated all the applications to the latest Play Store versions. So, you know, 4.0.4, as far as I have um, can tell you know, from all my testing, uh, really, really solid. It's been installed for days. It's just as quick today as it was, you know, the first day that I installed it. No slowdowns. Battery life has been greatly improved. The ROM feels really fluid. It feels just, it's a joy to use. You know, I really feel proud of this release. I feel as though, you know, if Ice Cream Sandwich could run this way all the time, I mean, it would be amazing. Um, you know, I'm really proud of this. I think it's it's a big improvement over 4.0.3, and um, you know, I'm excited about uh, you guys, you know, using this release and running it on a day-to-day -day basis as your daily driver. So, anyway, guys, that's about it here for Redemption ROM 1.1. Now, I also want to mention that the kernel source hadn't been updated when version 1.1 was released. It supposedly already has been updated or will be very shortly. So expect a Redemption ROM kernel upgrade very soon um, to the newest source code. As of right now, we're using my Defiant version 3 kernel. I will be releasing a new updated version as soon as the new kernel source is in order. And I will make sure that I get an update to you guys out on Twitter and also here in the Redemption ROM thread as well. So anyway, guys, as always, you are awesome. Thank you for all of your support. Hope you're enjoying Redemption Round 1.1, and until next time, we will see you guys later.